Hey everybody, and welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. I'm Dennis Fields. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to package your beer to go, right? Say you're kegging your beer and you love having it on draft like I do. In the garage, it's always accessible, ready on tap, right? But your friends call and they're like, hey, come on over, bring some of your home brew. Well, you have a couple of choices. You can bring a growler um, and, or you can bring some bottles and you can cap those ahead of time. But you've already got it kegged inside of your uh, kegerator and you're wondering, well, how am I gonna get them in the bottles really easily? So there's basically three ways that you can fill up your bottles from your kegerator. We're gonna go through all three of those different options. Maybe one works best for you. We'll figure that out after you hit this like and subscribe button. And after this, cheers. All right, let's talk about the different faucet styles first. Most of you probably have these standard faucets like this one here. So these are totally fine and we're gonna go over the difference, but I have switched from the rear ceiling faucets like these, which are the standard ones, to inner tap uh, faucet uh, faucets. They have a little bit of benefit in the fact that they seal forward, they're a little bit easier to clean and, and manage, and they have these removable front pieces here, which will help when we talk about filling bottles in a little bit with these. But first we'll go over your standard faucets, right? So these are kind of perfect for filling with a piece of silicone tubing, uh, if you can get it the correct size. This I believe is a half inch and it fits over the, uh, you first have to get it wet and sanitize any tubing and stuff that you're gonna be using for filling it. And then these silicone tubes just slide over the top. This is perfect for filling a growler, not so much for filling a bottle and we'll show you why. So if you have a growler like this one, this is your standard bottle growler, you would go ahead and you'd slide this in and then you could get it all the way down to the bottom. You want about 12 inches of hose length, no matter what type of uh, hose that you're using. And then you would go ahead and bring that all the way down to the bottom. You'd pull open your tap handle here, and then it would fill the growler up. The, the reason that this works so well is because you actually have some air space that is outside of this uh, hose where the air can escape while the beer is filling up in your growler. Um, but for a smaller bottle, say you're using a a smaller growler like this one, that hose doesn't quite fit easily inside of the neck of this. Uh, same with your standard 12 inch bottle uh, that you would use uh, for bringing you know, a couple capped beers to a party, right? So this one does fit inside of here. However, it's really snug and it doesn't let any air come out of the top, but you can still fill it with this. What I would suggest doing is taking your hose again, you'd get it wet with sanitizer, then you would take a metal straw like this one, and you're gonna put it against the hose, and then you're gonna push both of them inside of the bottle, right? And so, you know, this isn't real convenient for doing a whole lot of them, but it will work in a pinch if you want to do a couple. So then what you would do is you have your bottle and you have your metal straw. The metal straw is gonna let the air out of the bottle, and then the silicone, of course, is going to have the beer running through it. So you'd have your tap handle here, you'd open it up and you'd let your beer uh, flow all the way in. You can push this, this hose down into the beer further or you can just tip the bottle a little bit. Uh, if you turn down your serving pressure, if it gets really foamy, you can do that. Or I've found out that as long as your hose line is correct, this shouldn't really foam all that much, especially if you're bringing it to a, like a party that day. Uh, it's not gonna lose that much carbonation. If you're gonna bottle it for a longer period of time, you're gonna want as little of foam as possible and therefore you might wanna turn down that serving pressure. But in a pinch, you can do it this way. Uh, the next way is probably the easiest way and the uh, way that you can kind of preserve the most amount of carbonation. That requires you to actually change out the, the hose uh, inside of your kegerator. And we're gonna go through that one next and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, for this step, we're gonna get a little peek inside of my beer fridge here. So for this stuff, I've actually have a different setup. I have a picnic tap on a beer dispensing line. What I'm gonna actually do is go ahead and remove uh, one of my beer taps from the keg itself. So we'll just use this one. That was a little harder to get off than I thought it was gonna be. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just connect your other picnic tap here and get it to hook up. So now what I'm gonna do with this one to fill the bottles, I'm not just gonna go ahead and lean this thing in and fill it up or it would get awful foamy. What I'm gonna do instead is hook up a pencil filler directly to this 
uh, picnic tab. So I am gonna grab my pencil filler. This is just like we would normally fill bottles. We'd put this picnic tap on here. And then we would take our bottle that we would normally do, right? And we would push it down to the bottom. And then we would pull on our picnic tap and you fill up the bottle this way. Now, as you can tell with this one, it got awful foamy. That's because the pressure that's coming through this is set up for a line that's much, much longer. So what we're gonna have to do is actually turn the pressure down on our regulator down to about two or three PSI, and then I'll show you the difference. All right, so we're gonna turn our pressure down uh, on the regulator that is for our serving pressure down to about two PSI. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit. You may not see this needle drop. That's because the pressure in the keg is still there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull a pressure release valve. Also, if you have more than one keg like I do, close all of the other uh, gas lines through the manifold and just have the pressure going to this one keg that you're trying to fill from. So pull the pressure release valve on your keg. You can see that the needle then dropped to basically zero. So we're gonna turn this up to about two to four PSI real quick. That's about right there. That's gonna give it just enough pressure to push it through without getting super, super foamy in your bottles. So we'll try that now that the pressure's turned down and we'll see what happens. All right, so I have a new bottle. I've turned it down to about two PSI. So this should really help with the foaming that's coming out. So you're gonna go ahead and again, push your uh, pencil filler. You're gonna fill up your bottle. And you can already tell as it's going up, there's a little bit of foam cap on the top, which is normal because that's coming through here, but it's not nearly what it was when we tried to do it at full serving pressure. So we're gonna let that foam go all the way up to the top on purpose. And then we're gonna pull our pencil filler out. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to cap that immediately on foam. And while that foam settles out, you're gonna have your perfect pour right about here uh, to be able to cap and bring to a party. You could even fill a little bit less or a little bit more after the foam kind of dissipates a little bit too if you wanted to, uh, but go ahead and cap these things off and then fill how many ever bottles that you need to bring to a friend's house. All right, and now I'm gonna show you an option for doing it with the inner tap. So as you can tell, these inner tap handles have removable spouts. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one. And then I have opted to get the growler filler option. They also make a stout uh, spout and a couple of other different options. This one's really good. You could uh, connect a small piece of vinyl tubing here, and then you're able to fill growlers and bottles out of this. The good news is about this one is that the tubing is a little bit smaller. So it allows you to fill without the need of using that uh, straw like we did before. So I've got a different bottle here and then you're gonna go ahead and clean and sanitize this one as well, uh, the hose and then the bottles as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and you may need to reduce the pressure depending on the beer, but in most cases I haven't had to do that if it's unless it's overcarbed or something that needs a little more carbonation for that style. So then you can go ahead and just open the tap. And this one I've turned it down a little bit just because it is a little bit uh, more carbonated than the other beers. And then you don't wanna press it against the bottom, but you want the beer to be in submerged in the liquid. So in this case, you're just gonna let the beer fill all the way up in the bottle. And then once it gets all the way to the neck or so, I stop it and then I pull the hose down just a little bit. Just make sure it's still, it's still in the beer and then fill it up a little bit more until it starts kind of coming out. And then you can pull out your hose and you have a filled bottle here, and then you can go ahead and cap these things off. And so this is the easiest way, of course, because I don't need to change any hoses inside of my uh, keg. I don't need to put any bottle filler or clean any additional hoses other than this one piece. Then I take this piece off, put my spout back on, and I'm good to go for pouring regular beers after I'm done filling a few bottles or growlers. So probably the easiest option uh, if you go with the inner tap handles I'd really suggest these. I bought these things uh, several months ago and I'm really happy with them so far. And as always, I'll have a link to where you can get all of this stuff in the video description below. All right, that's a quick tutorial on how I fill bottles to bring to parties or bring to a friend's house or a gift or even fill them for competitions. And so hopefully that helped. Leave any questions or comments as usual under the link description below. 
As usual, I'll have all of the things that I talked about, other videos that are related in the video description below as well. Hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel out a lot. Appreciate every one of you guys. Cheers and happy brewing.